Yo, what is going on guys, it's Delmont here, um, now I had a couple requests and uh, other videos and today on how to make this tutorial for you guys, so pretty much what this is going to be is how to make um, an auto update system in C Sharp, so if you know what C Sharp is, um, and say you want to auto update and you don't know what auto updating is, um, you should though, it's in the name. But uh, basically what it allows you to do is um, launch a new version of whatever you may be making um, and then your users are maybe a free tool. Whoever is using that specific tool, um, when they open it, it will give them the new, down new download and pretty much up to the tool form. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And again, I'm going to be using Hellmaker as the um, baseline here because I already have it done. You know, why do I need to make another one? That's already done. I just walk you guys through it. Um, so again, what you guys are gonna need is you're gonna need to go to your form, um, whatever it may be. Um, of course, Hellmaker is our uh, main form here. Um, you're gonna need two labels. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, just basically two two labels at all. Um, one you could name like the version. I have uh, V14. You could do that, or you could in the other one uh, V14. You could do anything you want, and then the other one's just going to be if you want a news feed on here, um, that be that, which is my news feed is down here, um, and then you're going to need another another label for um, uh, to check the update, which you can just name that whatever you know whatever you have. Um, anyways, so let's get straight into it. You're going to need a couple lines of code. That's it. Boom, done. Um, so of course I have mine here. Uh, this is just version and text on my server. Um, if you guys want to download it, there it is right there. Um, but you're not gonna be able to use it um, until uh, I uh, until I release V7. This is this is not released. V6.3 is just. Um, like I said, you guys can go download it if you want. Um, the download is public, um, of course. And then there's that. Um, so basically what you guys are going to need is to use system.net of course, it's obvious because you're using a fucking um, web client in this to download, um, and you're going to need two timers by the way, I forgot about that, two timers, so basically what you guys want to do is you want to go back here, add two timers in add, after you add your labels and you get them organized however you want, um, basically you just want to uh, copy the code that I have here um, and, and paste it for you guys. Um, now, if you want me to explain what this does, basically what this does right here is it goes to the website or the web server, whatever it may be. It checks the version, which would be this right here. So if this number right here matches in your server, then it'll be good. So say you want to launch a new version, you just change this number right here and then change it in the server, and it will notice that there's an update. Um, and then this one right here, but basically just tells it to start this one right here. Um, and this one is the same thing. It, like I said, it downloads, um, it checks to see if it's a new version. Um, and if it is, um, it'll bring you down here, um, and then it'll download this. Um, this is the download link for the new version whenever it comes out. Say so it's your tool. So basically, all you guys really need to do is just change the link. Um, say you're using a free server. Hell, you could use a free server um, if you want. The only downside to some of that things like that is that. Um, free servers are just shit and make your tool run slow um, and stuff like that because when they download your tool um, it may be on your computer but the tool's running off the server um, and that's what so, you know, sometimes causes a lag and, and stability issues um, now that's that um, now if you want to know how to use to make a news label um, I'm not going to show you how it moves maybe I'll develop another tutorial but pretty much all you have to do is just um, click on the label, the news label, say it's this right here, um, it'll bring you down to wherever you may be. Mine's down here, of course. Don't ask why. Um, <laughs> but uh, all you want to do is label.txt equals new web client and then download. Um, and basically, it'll just give you whatever is in this file, news.txt. Um, now, I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. Um, if you guys need any help, don't hesitate at all whatsoever to contact my Skype. Um, I'm no longer using Ren. Your mom.exe. Um, I got my main Skype back, which is Halls1234. Um, that's also in the description. If you want to add both of them, you can, but I'm on Halls1234. 
Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smack that like button. Excuse me. Um, and if you want to see more like this, comment down below and ask. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one, and uh, peace out, guys.